Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video and for today's video We are gonna be servicing this naughty girl This is my new project car for the channel, a Fiat Punto Evo. And a few days ago, I actually checked the oil and it was basically black and barely on the minimum. I was horrified to say the least. So that is why today we are giving this engine a little scrub a dub dub. If you guys don't know, there's a knocking sound on this car when you turn left and right. And the next video will hopefully be me trying to fix the problems. I've got like three different things that I'm going to try and fix, but it's going to be all fun and we're going to see which one actually fixes it. Back to the servicing video, we are doing everything from spark plugs to coolant to oil and oil filter to fuel system flushes and engine flushes, air filters and a boot organizer. Ah! Last but definitely not least is the sponsor of today's video, Carista. Now then guys, if you guys somehow don't know what Carista is, Hop in. Let me tell you about it. Now, Carista is a small but incredibly powerful OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. And let me tell you, it can do some awesome things. I mean, this isn't awesome because these are... Uh, Chloe's glasses, but to get started we plug the Carista device into the OBD port onto the car launch open the app Connect to the device and we can do a whole range of things including diagnosing Check engine lights and fault codes So if you have ever had an engine warning light come up on the dash you're like oh, You can actually pull over on the side of the road whip out this OBD adapter and diagnose it from the side of the road And after the checks have been done, we've got one fault code and that is Oh, random multiple misfire detected. Oh, that's not good. But this is where the fun starts. So not only can we read check engine lights, we can also customize this car. So we can literally change and alter to our liking all of these different things. We can turn on and customize coming home and leaving home lights, turn on cornering lights, unlock the awesome beeping when you lock and unlock the car, and even activate needle sweeping when the car starts. Now you can also perform DIY service procedures, also look at live data while the car is running to make sure it is running in tip top shape. So yeah guys, that is the Carista OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. Such a small but powerful device. Now, if you guys are interested in copying one, click the link in the description and use Michael20 to get 20% off your device. Pretty generous if you ask me. Now, before purchasing, please make sure that your vehicle is compatible. You can do this by clicking the link in the description and checking if your car is compatible with it. Anyway, thank you, Car Restart, for sponsoring today's video. Back to the servicing. Today, we're going to be doing everything from coolant, oil, spark plugs. I'm going to be basically the, the Asian Chris Fix. Yeah. Right, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to disconnect this black box that um, the previous owner had. Big up Devante. Just rip this bad boy off. I remember the back in the days when I had a black box. It saved me a lot of petrol, petrol to be fair. Now that I've got no black box, I'm, I'm splurging on the petrol. Oh, there you go. Disconnect the black box. The next day, the motherfucker was dead. All right, so we now got all the cables as well, so no power is going to there. Next up is actually the coolant system. We are going to be flushing this coolant system. There it is, I'm going to crack this loose now. There you go. Coolant should start flowing out any second. There you go. Look at that, it's like a little fountain. Oh, cranberry juice. It doesn't actually look bad, look that bad, to be honest. Then I filled up the coolant system with warm water and topped it up with some coolant flush. This should hopefully give the system a good clean before we add the new fresh coolant. Right, well that is draining. We're gonna get this one switched over to the new one, just like. And look at that, that is awesome. That is looking saucy, honestly. This makes the this makes the interior look ten times newer. Look at this coolant is all done, baby. And look at that nice fresh coolant system. Nice fresh coolant running through the car. All the lines and no leaks or anything I can see. Next up, I think we're gonna go oil because this oil is disgusting. You know, you have to spend half your time wondering like which way to anti-clockwise, which way to clockwise. Spend about twenty minutes doing that. 
There we go. Proper mechanic. What are we saying? <laughs> Don't piss me off. Oh, there you go. There's your oil filter. Right, because this goes in sideways, I've just filmed it up halfway. And just give it a little jiggle biggle. And I'm going to wipe that. And then I'm going to tighten it by hand. Oh, oh, we're filming the wrong way. There's the new oil filter on. <laughs> And as you can see, it's literally all the way up to near the maximum. So beautiful. So that's all good to go. Right then, I've made a complete mess of the driveway, but the oil has been changed, the oil filter, the coolant, we've got spark plugs, air filter, just a load of shit. Love it like, what you gonna do, where you at, who you with, you ain't really about this, don't talk about it. Okay, right then, so the next thing we're gonna be changing is these spark plugs. Don't know when they were changed last on the Punto, but we're going to be doing this very quickly. There you go. Pop that down there. The throttle body looks disgusting. Look at that. Looks like there's fucking diarrhea on it. Good thing is I actually have this uh, throttle body cleaner, basically. So I can at least get the surface um, clean. It's very oily and gross. Okay. Oh, they look like they need a bit of work. These spark plugs definitely look all right, but like, it looks like it gets so much shit on because if you can see down there, I don't think you can. There's just loads of leaves that get in the spark plugs, like around the spark plugs, and it just falls in, I guess. But so far, so good. Woo! Spark plugs now all in. I think. One, two, three, four. Lovely jubbly. That was quite a hard job to do, like everything just got stuck. Um, but yeah, basically we need to put the coil pack back on, mount it up, connect all the plugs up, and we're good to go. Like literally, look at the engine now, like not, not even a day's work and it's already looking fresh, it's going to be running fresh as well. Even just simple things like cleaning out this little pipe, I just feel like a proper mechanic, I'm just like, I'm gassed. And the throttle body, I think that's called. At some point we'll probably be doing a ram air conversion, but for now... I just want the car to run completely stock. It's gonna be nice having like a stock car to drive around in when you've got like this, the Scirocco. There is the air filter. Looks a little bit dirty, but not crazy bad. I can't remember which way it went, but I guess it's like that. Now, we can get this back together. The next thing I did was I used a bottle of seafoam on the car, and honestly, I've been so excited to use this thing, just for the amount of smoke that comes out of the exhaust in some people's videos. It looks incredible. This stuff is actually meant to clean out carbon deposits out of your engine, and basically, this will hopefully regain a little bit of fuel economy, as well as other things. Honestly, let me know what this stuff actually does, because I'm not the guy to be telling you. Okay, it is time for the seafoam, pretty much. I'm just gonna get Chloe, because you have to hold the car up 2,000 RPM. <laughs> Right, so we now leave the seafoam in the car for 10 minutes and then we're gonna go on a spirited drive in the theater. <laughs> Seafoam has all been uh, ragged about basically in the engine and look it's even smoking because like all the oil, all the seafoam that I spilt on the uh, heat shield, yeah it's smoking now baby. That's the seafoam, that is all of the mechanical stuff we've done today. Now we've only got a few other little bits and bobs that we're going to do. Yeah, really happy with that. Anyway, see you guys in the morning.
straight away in the morning, I actually got into installing and replacing the cabin filter. Then I moved on to the aircon cleaner. It's gonna get smoky. Right, so it's now all on. Let me show you how we do this. With this thing, you press this button down, you hold it down, and you press, put it there. And I'm gonna put it right there. God, it stinks. I actually hate the smell of these things. They smell like Lynx Africa. But then you just leave it running in there for 10 minutes and it will come back smelling fresh. And it will. And if you go in there after 10 minutes, it will kill you. <laughs> it's very strong. All right, it is pretty beautiful out. The car has now been stopped. And let's have a little smell. This smells like a typical Fiat Punta, this does. Like literally, it smells like just sprayed some Lynx Africa. Hopefully that has cleaned out the air vents and stuff. I don't know. If it does or not, you guys let me know, but ta-da! Quickly, before I get on to the last thing, which is really, really quick, I've also done one more thing. Obviously, after any service, you've got to clean the engine bay, and that is exactly what I've done. Now this engine bay definitely scrubs up for a 2010 car. I mean, look at that. All the plastics are shining. I love this cool thing. It looks fucking fresh. <laughs> that is the best part of this whole engine. But yeah, that is a key part to any service. You know, it just makes it look all good. Ta -da! Now then, the very last thing that we're gonna do on this service for the, sh for the Fiat Punto, please let me know if there's anything else I could do to the service this Fiat Punto is the best. Is there any valves that I could undo to clean out? The next last thing that we got isn't really a service. It's actually a large boot organizer, yay! Oh, it stinks. It smells like a garden centre. I still need to order a spare tyre for this car because this is the car that I want to do long journeys in. Um, but yeah, let's go get it installed. You know, it's not even that exciting. Let me just show you the fucking finished product, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and there it is, all installed. And pretty much what's really nice about this one, it's actually Velcro, so listen. So that's how it actually sticks down. And if that leaks, it will actually leak in this cheap ass thing right here. So yeah guys, that is the servicing of the Fiat Punto all complete. Now, I think we're gonna go on a drive. Let's do it. So overall, this car has oil, coolant, spark plugs. I was gonna get a new coil pack, but they're about 90 quid for fuck's sake for a Fiat Punto. <laughs> Can't really tell the difference to be honest, mate. But I think it's more the the, the fact that it's it's now running good cool, good good everything basically. It's just the peace of mind that you know that it's yeah, it's a, yeah, the fact that it's now been serviced you know is like. That it's all good now. Yeah. How are you finding it, Rosie? Yeah. It's just very smooth, you know. It's a very smooth ride now. Yeah. I think like my my mind isn't completely at rest because of that knocking, but the next video we will be do sorting that out. I think I have an idea what the problem is. You guys actually let me know what it was. Um, It feels a bit smooth on acceleration, you know? Like, it just, it just feels like you're not even accelerating. I mean, it's... <laughs> you're basically... Good girl, Rosie. Can we get home? I see if you need a cookbook. <laughs> oh, we've got new windscreen marbles as well. That's, the, that's one of the best things. I can actually tell the difference of them. The, the previous ones were yeah. shit. Oh, it's, you know what? Just a Fiat Punt in general, I've... There's a reason why it's like my dream first car. It's a, it's a very small, it's literally, you do not need anything more than a Fiat Punto. I mean, some some of them break down quite a lot. I mean, I can't speak for that. Look how quiet it is. It's nice having the brum, brum, but it's also nice just having the, the little, little things. Overall, that is unfortunately the end of today's video. The Fiat Punto is running beautifully. It's running like a sweet angel on Valentine's Day. Truthfully, I'm in love with this car and I can't wait just to like keep on working on everything, making sure that this car is super, super 
reliable, reliable, reliable. More <laughs> reliable to the best that I can do. I know it's a fee at the end of the day, but really, really happy with what what we've achieved today. Even like the inside and like the boot organizer, even it's fucking lit. It's absolutely freezing. So I think I might even end the video out here. Fortunately, guys, that's the end of today's video. I really, really hope you're enjoying uh, the Fiat videos. The next video will be me trying to fix the knocking noise. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at the Instagram. Other stuff. Subscribe if you are new. Now, see our faces in my next video. Oh,